Um, yeah, uh, obviously not a, not our uh, best night at the office tonight. Uh, congrats to Adeline Christian and Joe Golden, uh, their whole staff. Um, incredible, incredible job throughout the course of the year. You know, been been watching them a lot. Um, you know, throughout the year, kind of knowing that if if, if we were going to have a chance to get to Saturday and play for a championship, we sort of thought it would be against them all along. And um, you know, I've been in this league five years. Um, they're as good defensively as any team I've seen. The way that they scramble and move and make it hard on you, you know, it makes it hard for, for anyone. Good offensive teams, great players, you know, and, and it's a testament to their discipline and, and how, um, you know, how he's built that program since, since he's been there. Nothing short of remarkable. And, and good luck to those guys in the NCAA tournament. Um, with that being said, I'm so proud of this group. And, you know, obviously at the last – seven minutes where, you know, I think we come out of the under eight, we're down 14 or 15, we're down 15 and give up a couple of quick baskets to kind of finish the game off. And uh, obviously didn't finish the way that we, that we wanted to, but um, doesn't, doesn't take away, you know, from the year they had 18 and seven, 14 and two in league. Um, and quite frankly, what I, what I just told them was, um, you know, that's something, you know, when you look at, a team like Abilene Christian, for instance, that's that's been built. You know, Coach Golding's been there for eight years, and it's incredible to see what they've been able to do and accomplish. And now this group is the new standard for Nichols State. You know, first time we've been to a championship game in 25 years, 14 and two in the league, an outstanding year. And yeah, you know, this one's gonna hurt for a while. Absolutely, it should because we have a competitive group. But I'm so proud of them, and um, you know, we'll, we'll move forward. We'll get better, and hopefully, we're back here next year. First question goes to Hadari. You may unmute your line. Uh, Coach, first, congratulations on your season. Um, but you guys got off to slow starts in both halves. What were they able to establish early that you couldn't? I mean, you guys made the adjustments. Yeah, I got back within five, um, and then in the second half, they 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 jumped on you again. What were they? What did they do uh, at the beginning of each half that had you guys uh, have such slow starts? Well, first half, I just thought, and, you know, we were a little bit worried about it coming in just because when you're preparing for having a Christian Dalton or not the offensive team as well, but they're different defensively in how they deny and scramble and run you off the line. Um, and I just think when you haven't played them, you know, it's the first time we played and haven't really played, um, you know, a team in the non-conference either, they, they guards like that. Um, it's a difficult adjustment. It's a difficult adjustment when you've never seen it before. Um, and I thought it just took us a minute there, clearly. Um, then I thought we did a better job kind of speeding them up a little bit. I, you know, we were just on our heels. We were on our heels a little bit. You know, these two guys next to me got going. And, and when they're, you know, um, what we do have is subvertibility. And, and when these two guys are running and sharing the ball and, and getting other guys involved and making their own shots, um, we can recover in a hurry. We were able to do that. I think we got it to five. Um, that's the line. Um, down five at the half. You know, you're, you're in a good spot. And then second half, I just thought – we came out, we got a layup. Very first possession, we get a layup. We don't make it. Um, and I just thought when you, when you look at the first 10 minutes of the second half, they just made some more plays, uh, you know. And, and that's, um, you know, Coach Golding did a great job putting them in positions to do that. And, and then they, they executed, you know, they, they executed and just finished the game better. And, you know, it, it is what it is. I thought the first half, we just started a little slow, um, caught us off guard, thought we found our rhythm. And then second half, I think just gave them credit. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it. I need to watch it. And, um, obviously, they assessments that way um, but I just think it was more so the beginning of the game that hurt us with getting adjusted next question is from John John you may unmute your line thanks uh, coach two questions first one about the rebounding I believe they had a 53 to 34 advantage so in addition to the defense how big a factor do you think rebounding was secondly uh, as somebody who hung with LSU for 40 minutes earlier this year I know it's hard to compare teams but how do you think a team like Abilene would do against a team like LSU Rebounding, rebounding was a huge issue, um, and, and it's not that they were necessarily more physical. They were, but I, I think it was more um, their discipline to go every time, you know, and, and just, um, you know, again, you know, they're yeah, just, just you, again, you gotta go back and watch it. But they, they, there were different just times in the game where there were loose balls. So there were some loose balls that got tipped around a little bit that, that they beat us to. Um, you know, in the second half, we're taking a lot of threes to get back in it, so that's more defensive, you know, 
we, we had we had gotten it back closer a little bit, and then of course it got stretched in the last six or seven minutes. But certainly their physicality and their offensive rebounding was a huge issue. Um, look, they're they're as good as anyone we've played this year. To be completely honest, LSU is great, obviously, and and. Um, they present different types of challenges. But when you talk about their discipline and, and how they guard and create um, turnovers and just make it really hard on you, um, they're good. And they're, they're going to have a chance to, you know, in the NCAA tournament, I think, to give somebody a lot of problems. You know, and, again, it's something, that, it's something that's been built. You know, this is not a flash in the pan. They're, they're a great program. Um, they're very disciplined. They have no insecurities about who they are, and, 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 they, and they play their game. And, and it's, you know – it was uh, it was good. It's good for us to see and, and obviously grow um, from this loss tonight. Next question is from Eric. Eric, you may unmute your line. Hi, uh, this is Eric Hall from the USA Today Network. Uh, this is for Ty and Kevin and Austin. Um, what's your uh, what what will you take away the most from this season? What's a favorite moment or um, or a favorite memory from this season? Um, I'll, I'll go first. I mean, just I, I just think it's you know it's funny. Often for me, is is you reminisce on you know challenging times that, that you overcame, and, and, and you saw these guys grow not just not just win games, but grow as teammates, grow as grow as men, grow as grow as leaders, um, and to see their hard work pay off the way it did throughout the course of the year. You know, and, and again tonight, what well, didn't go our way? It, it, it didn't go our way, and I told these guys. You know, then if this is the worst thing that that, that ever happens to you, then you're gonna live a pretty good life. And and they'll grow from this, but more than anything, just their passion for the game and their love for each other. Um, because for me, you know, this team is is everything. I love this group and to see them share that same love for each other and, and play that way and, and grow together all year, that's what I'll remember most. Evan, do you have a moment? Um, I, I remember, you know, just just every day being with those guys, you know, um, just day in and day out at practice, working hard, and, you know, obviously accomplishing something great throughout the season. So that's what I remember. How about you, Ty? Um, one thing I remember most from the season that I took away from me is um, I got challenged every day. Every day, you know, things weren't going my way. I had to go through adversity. So one thing I can say with this team that we had is like, Nothing was easy. Like every day was a test. And I feel like, you know, in the situation we're in right now, I feel like I passed it to, you know, because I became a better person, I became a better student, and I just, you know, I learned how to put things in the past and focus on what's for it. So I feel like this season was great for me off the court, more than it was on the court. I have time for one more question. Brandon, you've had your hand up. Last question. A uh, question uh, for both players. Uh, do you feel that this, you know, with the speed that they brought defensively, uh, do you guys feel that this was the best defense you've seen all season? Um, I agree, you know, because they basically, like Coach said, I mean, they're not going to take a play off. So, you know, they beat, you know, they rotate well. You know, they just, I mean, Coach did a great job, and I can see, you know, teaching the basic thing. So I feel like this probably was the best game for going into this year. But I hope that, you know, that was a great time in the tournament. Kevin, anything to add? Um, I feel like they're a great defensive team, but um, we also faced a lot of um, great defensive teams throughout the season. Um, I feel like, you know, today a lot of shots that we had, it didn't, it didn't go our way. So I had shots when they played a great defense. Okay. Thank you all for your participation tonight, and we'll be back in just one moment. Thanks, guys.